In preparing today's reflection, it got me thinking about my time in the order. I think I've been in the order about 10, 11 years now. And I've seen things that I've met a lot of friars, and now I'm here. I would like to think I know a thing or two about how to be a friar. People say that I'm very calm and I'm very open to the way things are done. But maybe that's my problem. I'm too calm and I always just go with the flow, right? What if I flipped that around and I started to call people out? You know, I also like to think that I know things, that I also have an opinion, that I should show people how things are done my way, the right way. But when I read today's gospel, I was wondering about what Jesus meant when he asked, can a blind man lead another blind man? Can a disciple be greater than his teacher? I'm not so sure. Or on a similar vein, why do I notice the splinter in my brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in my own eye? I wonder in this situation, who is truly blind? Who is it that thinks he is the teacher? Can you imagine having something that big lodged in your eye? I think that will be a terrible day. For me, this wooden beam is the pride of life, an ego that thinks that it has it all together when really it knows very little. It comes across as, hey, you should notice me. I know the way and my way is right. A starvation to be acknowledged and for everyone to conform to a way of life that is my way because I am an island. Then and only then will I feel loved. I don't know about you, but this way kind of feels blind to me. Who am I to really to tell others what to do? If there is anything within me that is worth noticing, I hope that leads you to Christ. Sometimes in life, there are many things we don't notice about ourselves and the things around us. I like to think of these moments as blind spots in our life. There are always ways of doing things that might be more fruitful and more life-giving. And it's very hard to see our own blind spots on our own back. And that's why we need others to help us out. I think God allows certain people in our lives because he wants to show us something about ourselves which we may have never realized, to be open to be being surprised by others. From the cook to the cleaner, to the senior friar and to the newly professed friar. All these are occasions to be surprised. This wooden beam in my eye, of course, in, in the gospel today, Jesus is condemning it and that we should work at it. So I pray to him, Lord, grant me the grace and mercy and the tools to work away at this beam in my eye. May it be something that glorifies you rather than me. I pray and work away at it little by little every day. In fact, it could be something of worth praise, to praise him for. Because if I am spiritually blind, then I, I would have to rely on him. I would have to rely on Christ, my teacher, to lead me and guide me. So Lord, I thank you for this beam in my eye because it leads me back to you. For I would rather be spiritually blind than to lose sight of you completely. Amen.